Hello, here we are in uh, Auckland. We played a gig last night, which was uh, very good. Went down a tree. It's the day of big day out and I'm hoping to get my hair cut. We've found a traditional, very traditional looking barbers, but they won't let us film me getting my hair cut for some reason. Apparently the guy who's cutting my hair is a bit self-conscious and I think it's because he's wearing a wig. So I don't think I've ever had my hair cut by somebody wearing a wig. I don't know if that makes him better at it or worse at it. Um, but I mean, we'll catch up after, you'll get to see the results. As you can see now, I've let it go a bit, bit of a, get a bit of a boosh on there. And um, hopefully after we'll go to the Latin dance, rhythm dance school. Get a few dancing lessons, a bit of cardio. Here we are, haircut, complete with haircut. I was a bit sceptical when I went in the barbers, what with a man working there with a hairpiece, but uh, he didn't actually cut my hair. George cut my hair, who was amazing. Probably best haircut experience I've ever had. He were, we talked from, about everything from bungee jumping to women. I mean, that's the kind of experience it were. He were, uh, it was the real deal. Um, he suggested places we should go while we're here, places we should skydive, bungee, as I say, bungee jumping. He were a keen fisher, fisherman. I saw a picture of it with a massive fish. and. Uh, yeah, very friendly man. And you could tell he loved hairdressing. He loved cutting hair. Commented on how it made me look like a new man. I'd need a, a stick to be fighting women off. That's how, that's how much he liked my haircut. And uh, yeah, a lot of advice. He even gave me some uh, hair product advice. A bit of fudge to put in, which was great. And that's, and that's George. And I'll be back. If ever I'm in Auckland again, that's where I'm going to get my haircut. Let's go and dance.